All right, I'm here with the head football coach of the Oscar Smith Tigers, Chris Scott. They win it tonight by a running clock margin, 35 nothing. Coach, this doesn't feel like a 35 nothing running clock game at halftime. It's a scoreless battle. You have three turnovers, two lost fumbles inside the five. But what in the world did you tell the guys at halftime to propel this explosion that Oscar Smith's been known for over the years? Yeah, you, you walk in, and the feeling is that we're just frustrated, you know, top to bottom. Uh, defense kept us in there. Um, you know, we, we got a short field right before the half and then get a sack and then couldn't get the ball over. We were moving the ball, really kind of dominating in the trenches, which could have to wear down a team. And so you go in and you start to say, hey, am I supposed to make a lot of changes? Uh, what should we do, adjustments? No, we just got to look each other in the, in the eye, eye to eye, and say, hey, it's you versus you, and let's, let's just finish this game. And so they stayed back to back, and a young team, you know, we were young last year, and we're still young, but games like this help you grow up early on in the season. You need it, because this is probably one of the best conferences, districts, in the uh, state, and hopefully they'll prepare us for uh, games 11 through 15. And that was something that one of your players that I spoke to told me about, Narod Jarvis. He's one of the juniors for you. He told me different leadership with the seniors and juniors now. And also, you know, the offense and defense hasn't shown us back. I spoke with Brandon Nesbitt, who was a ball coach tonight. 28 carries, a punt 91. I don't about the fumbles, but he gets a touchdown for you. And you've been riding him, especially time with the receivers out. Your passing game didn't get clicked until the second half. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, we used the run to set up the pass. And, uh, you know, and really the pass that got us going is the guy that, you know, hasn't seen a lot, that hasn't seen the field a lot at that receiver. I mean, he's one of our rotational guys, Silas, and then he catches a stop, and then, you know, guys are blocking and downfield for each other. And that's that's when you say, all right, we're not just sitting back waiting for a me, a me play. They're getting out and blocking for each other. And that, and that showed, and that, that catches up to a team after a lot of that, like I said, wear and tear in the third and fourth quarter. We were able to go ahead and be explosive. Yeah, kids are very telling. Both Nesbitt and Jarvis didn't think this was an A performance. It's a B or C grade, whatever you might grade it. But I think as a coach, some of them wrong. The thing you have to be pleased about is you're seeing those effort plays, yards after the catch. You, you miss out of a tackle, special teams plays. You block a field goal tonight. And then defensively, you get the fourth down stops. And how about Jaden Coble, Sherrod's little brother? Maybe not anymore. Two right. picks tonight, right? Yeah, um, defense flying around uh, and did a great job just making uh, some adjustments on some coverages that we haven't shown this year. Um, and, and, and it came up and made some really, really big plays for us. Um, again, it's just the fact that the guys can grow up. Because sometimes, you know, you can go through some of these seasons and got, uh, the regular season and not be tested. And you got to be tested. That's a good program. And, and you know, they, they thumped us a little bit last year. You know, and uh, so with that, uh, you come out and you get tested and grow up a little bit more, a little bit more. And, it, you know, film – Film is a little more fun for a coach on games like this because, you know, lessons are going to be learned, right? Sure. Hard to believe, uh, lastly, you're, you're four games into this thing and, and always the quest to go to 15 there. You've won a couple state titles here. You mentioned last year you lost 42-28 in their place. Now you pitch a shutout. What are you liking right now? What, what do you see in terms of what, what this team's ceiling can be as you go along this journey? I know there's still some battles with the, the Indian Rivers, the Kings Forks is still away, but I'm I'm sure you're also excited to see how this group grows, right? Certainly. I'm, I'm excited to see how the group grows. Um we're tight. This is a tight group. Um, Coach Thurgood, Coach Simmons did a great job in our offseason and, and some of our leadership stuff. This group is tight. I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of our discipline showed up in some of the frustration. You know, not, not cheap penalties, not cheap fouls. Um, and I think that showed up. But what I want to see from our guys is that they continue to get tested and answer the call. And um, this, was, this wasn't a test for ourselves and for, uh, against a great team, and then they're able to handle that adversity because, you know, there's a lot of talented teams in the state, and we just got to be able to – it can't just always go your way. And uh, when you can respond when it doesn't, whether a snap goes over your head or we don't push the you know the ball in, um, thought we were across the line, whatever may have you, you can feel sorry for yourself or you can say, so what, now what, and then use the energy with the guys and play back-to-back -back like we did tonight. Whether it's a Friday night or a Thursday night, the Tigers are still pulling up doubles here at Beard Along Easy Field. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you.